Hi, it's Angie from Sunny Side Up Living Blog. If your family always turns up their nose at things like meatloaf, today I'm sharing my recipe for five star meatloaf that your family will be asking for again and again. Let's get cracking. Okay, before we get started on making this recipe, I wanted to fill you in on a couple of secrets on what makes this meatloaf recipe so good and so different from the one that frankly my mom always made. Uh, I was never really a big fan of meatloaf. I didn't like the texture when it was cooked. Um, it was just kind of grayish color. It, like it just wasn't very appetizing to be perfectly honest. And then she smothered it in ketchup. Now that was the way that a lot of women, moms, dads even, made meatloaf in the 70s and 80s and there weren't a lot of variations on it. However, I modified this recipe in a couple different ways. I added a lot of fresh herbs or dried, you could also use, and that gives the meatloaf a lot of extra flavor. I also made sure that instead of using just ground beef, it's a combination of ground beef and ground pork, which also gives it the meat some extra juicy flavor. And I also added some, who can say no to cheese, some really good sharp cheddar cheese. So I would always opt for going with the highest quality of shredded packaged cheese that you can possibly go with. Um, some other brands have a lot of extras in them that I don't really care for, like extra colorings, etc. And this one is very flavorful. And if you look on the back, uh, a lot of the things on it are Good, good messages. And then finally, my mom would always make meatloaf in a loaf pan. This one's glass. Uh, she would always make hers in metal. We are actually not going to use a pan and instead we're going to mold the meatloaf shape and we're going to put it on a rack and then we're going to put that in the oven. And what that does is it has, a, it basically allows the meat to really brown nicely all the way around and then also some of that extra fat just kind of comes down and melts down. So you'll want to make sure that you line a baking dish or a baking sheet, one with a lip around it, like a jelly roll pan, I guess they call it. And uh, so use a lined baking sheet and then make sure that you also put something down on top of that to like foil or even parchment paper to catch those drippings so that you don't have to scrub that pan for too hard for too long or too hard. All right, let's get started with this recipe. To make this five star meatloaf, preheat your oven to 400 degrees and add one tablespoon of olive oil to a hot skillet. Next, add a quarter cup of chopped onion and saute for four minutes. Add one clove of fresh minced garlic and saute for an additional minute and then set it aside. In a large bowl, place a pound of meatloaf mix or a half pound each of ground beef and ground pork. Crack an egg into the bowl. Next, add a quarter cup of panko, an eighth cup of fresh grated Parmesan cheese, one and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, one and a half teaspoons of dried parsley, a half teaspoon of dried oregano, a half teaspoon of sea salt, and a few good grinds of fresh pepper, and then add in the sauteed onion and garlic. Mix all of these ingredients. Hands make the best tool for this recipe. Then add a half cup of good quality shredded che cheddar cheese and mix again. Mound the meatloaf mixture and gently flatten it down on a wire rack that's placed on a lined rimmed baking sheet. You'll bake this meatloaf for 50 minutes or until there's a nicely browned crust on the meatloaf. Serve with crusty bread and steamed green beans. Enjoy! And that's it for today. For more easy, healthy recipes like this one, hit subscribe.